Welcome to Daily Scripture Reading. I do not own the rights to this music. 2 Peter chapter 3, the King James Version. This second epistle, beloved, I now write unto you, in both which I stir up your pure minds by way of remembrance, that ye may be mindful of the words which were spoken before by the holy prophets, and of the commandment of us, the apostles of the Lord and Savior. Knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust, and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. For this they willingly are ignorant of, that by the word of God the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world that then was, being overflowed with water, perished. But the heavens and the earth, which are now, by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. But, beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing, that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, in the which in the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, and the works that are therein, shall be burned up. Seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness, looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of God, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat? Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth, wherein dwelleth righteousness. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace, without spot and blameless, and account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul, also according to the wisdom, given unto him hath written unto you as also in all his epistles speaking in them of these things in which are some things hard to be understood which they that are unlearned and unstable rest as they do also the other scriptures unto their own destruction ye therefore beloved seeing ye know these things before beware lest ye also, being led away with the error of the wicked, fall from your own steadfastness. But grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. To him be glory both now and forever. Amen. The Amplified Version of Second Peter chapter 3 Purpose of this letter Beloved, I am now writing you this second letter. In this, as in the first one, I am stirring up your untainted mind to remind you that you should remember the words spoken in the past about the future by the holy prophets and the commandment of the Lord and Savior given by your apostles, his personally chosen representatives. The coming day of the Lord. First of all, Know without any doubt that mockers will come in the last days with their mocking, following after their own human desires, and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? What has become of it? For ever since the fathers fell asleep in death, all things have continued exactly as they did 
from the beginning of creation, for they willingly forget the fact that the heavens existed long ago by the word of God, and the earth was formed out of water and by water, through which the world at that time was destroyed by being flooded with water. But by his word, the present heavens and earth are being re reserved for fire, being kept for the day of judgment and destruction of the ungodly people. Nevertheless, do not let this one fact escape your notice, beloved, that with the Lord one day is like a thousand years, and a thousand years is like one day. The Lord does not delay as though he were unable to act, and is not slow about his promise, as some count slowness, but is extraordinarily patient toward you, not wishing for any to perish, but for all to come to repentance. A new heaven and earth. But the day of the Lord will come like a thief, and then the heavens will vanish with a mighty and thunderous roar, and the material elements will be destroyed with intense heat, and the earth and the works that are on it will be burned up. Since all these things are to be destroyed in this way, what kind of people ought you to be in the meantime, in holy behavior, that is, in a pattern of daily life that sets you apart as a believer, and in godliness, displaying profound reverence toward our awesome God, while you earnestly look for and await the coming of the day of God. For on this day the heavens will be destroyed by burning, and the material elements will melt with intense heat. But in accordance with this promise, we expectantly await new heavens and a new earth in which righteousness dwells. So, beloved, since you are looking forward to these things, be diligent and make every effort to be found by him at his return, spotless and blameless, in peace, that is, inwardly calm with a sense of spiritual well-being and confidence having lived a life of obedience to him. And consider the patience of our Lord, his delay in judging and avenging wrongs as salvation, that is, allowing time for more to be saved. Just as our beloved brother Paul also wrote to you according to the wisdom given to him by God, speaking about these things, as he does in all of his letters, in which there are some things that are difficult to understand, which the untaught and unstable, who have fallen into error, twist and misinterpret, just as they do the rest of the scriptures, to their own destruction. Therefore, let me warn you, beloved, knowing these things beforehand, be on your guard, so that you are not carried away by the air of unprincipled men who distort doctrine and fall from your own steadfastness, steadfastness of mind, knowledge, truth, and faith, but grow spiritually mature in the grace and knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be glory, honor, majesty, splendor, both now and to the day of eternity. Amen. The end. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.